Let's say you wanted to create a beginning band assignment. I'm going to go with the treble clef and I'm going to make this assignment for trumpet. So I'm going to add a part, go over to brass and choose trumpet. So now I have a trumpet part. Uh, since I don't need the piano, I'll get rid of that. And let's put this into the key of B flat. Now I'm in, I'm in concert pitch here. I'm in the key of C. So let me change the key signature to B flat. And now I'm OK. So concert pitch is B flat. Great. We're going to do Good King Wenceslas. And I'm going to take my cursor over here. And my keyboard is already hooked up, so I'll go right ahead and play. That needs to be a half note. Then my next note is a half note. I'll turn it back to a quarter note with the bracket keys. Finish up the piece. And I'm good to go. So let me delete that last measure. We don't need it. And now I'm going to give them the assignment. I'm going to write a prompt. So here's the prompt. I can type something like, <clears throat> and then I'll ask them to record the piece. You're going to have to explain this to your students. They're going to have to be familiar with how to use this. But um, our school district is one-to-one, -one, so we could practice this all day long with Chromebooks. Every time they come into class, they can open their Chromebook and get used to doing this. Anyway, I'll give them the first one. Here's the K tool. I'll type first valve. And then I'm going to move that down below. So now when the kids add in all the rest of the valve combinations, they'll be able to easily do it. So for the complicated ones like this, they'll know it's one space three, and then they go to the next chord and it'll stack up for them like that. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll leave that in for a little hint. Anyway, the next thing I would do is assign it. I can go to score details and just assign it like this. Uh, and then when the kids get the copy of the file, they're going to have to record themselves doing it. In order to record themselves playing, they'll hit the record button. And then they'll have to do this setup. This setup will measure the gain on the microphone to make sure that they're not distorting. And it will also check the latency of the system. That is, the time it takes a recorded signal to make its way through the system and come back out of the speakers. You want it to line up with the metronome. So uh, I'm going to hit this setup, and then I'm going to play a note and it's going to check the gain on the microphone, that is how loud I'm playing. And it'll make a, it'll make a couple of adjustments for me. It seems to be happy with my level, which is great. I'll go on to the next step. This is that latency step. It's going to play a tone for me. And it has measured the timing, so all done. All I have to do now is hit the start button listen for the metronome, and play. And after a second, the audio file will, will come in. And here's what that sounds like. So if the student's happy with it, they can go to score details and turn it in. Or if they want to do it again, they can just hit delete and do another take. They can listen back to it with some reverb. Or they can uh, turn on the metronome to check their timing. And that's all there is to it.